The definition of anarchy. A state of disorder due to absence or non-recognition of authority or other controlling systems. Sounds about like what we do. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, which means fishing with no rules, I guess, is how I like to see it. Uh, we're just out here having fun, folks. And today's video is amazing, and I'm so excited to have you watch it because I catch the biggest fish of my life by a large margin. Uh, it is a beautiful 53 and a half inch muskie, hits right next to the boat, the footage is amazing, and I, I, again, I really hope you enjoy it. But I want to address something really quick. The net job does not go all that well. And I know there's going to be people that are going to want to comment, uh, so I guess feel free. But just know that there's nothing you could say that we haven't already talked about between Nathan and I. And uh, yeah, you just never know how you're going to act in a situation like that. It's a wild animal. They're going to do funky things. Things don't go right all the time. So, you know. It's kind of one of those, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say nothing at all. But here again, comment away, but uh, doesn't matter because we caught the fish. So that's the biggest and most important part. So this is a day uh, that Nathan and I surely won't forget. Uh, some awesome footage. We get two fish today. On today's video, I should say, we caught six fish in total on this day, but we're breaking this up into a couple parts. And with that... I will stop talking about it and get us right into the musky fishing. All right, ladies and gents, here's the scoop. I'm going to be throwing all sorts of stuff. I just happen to have a very beat up big mama little sister on. Nine foot surgical strike, 2020, perfect for f these types of waters. Uh, Tranks 400 with big game, excess 80 pound. Here's a fish, here's a fish, here's a fish. Ooh. That was a big girl. Yeah, it was. She's under the boat. She? Yeah. That was a big girl. Yeah. Oh, there she just took off right there. <sighs> Man, she was ramped up pretty good. Shoot. Nice fish, nice fish. Swing back around this side. Here we go, here we go. Right here, right here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Yeah, sorry. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> But we didn't. We are good. All right, I got her. Go ahead and grab her anchor for us. And she's out. That was cool, buddy. That was cool. That was almost really bad. Oh, man. All right, ladies and gents, we are on fish number three of the day, the 10th, no, 11th fish, that we've, 12th, I can't count apparently. He's a math major and I'm a minor, and here we are, we can't keep track of our muskies. Um, it's not a huge fish, but it is a really nice fish. Cool fight, hit out, um, was barely bee cooked, 
Uh, we netted it. We're, we got it. <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> we got it, though. Cool fight. I mean, a really feisty fish, so we're going to get it out. Uh, got the bump board all wetted down, ready to go. And we're going to take a look at this beautiful fish. If it doesn't try to break my hand. Yeah. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oh, nice fish. I'm pretty sure that's a little bit bigger than the, yeah. the other one. Nice heavy fish, though. All right, just behave. All right, so far so good. It is 43 and a half. So, cool. We're moving up in the world. Yep. They're getting a little bit bigger again. <laughs> She's away. And there she goes. And again, I've said this before because it's happened before. It doesn't have to look pretty. If a fish starts doing that on you, I don't want it in the bottom of the boat. I want it in the water. So, do whatever you can, however silly it looks. Get that fish to splash in the water instead of banging its head in the boat. And everybody's just that much happier. I <laughs> Whew. All right, man, let's keep at it. I'm at a loss for words, so you might as well stop filming now, so. <laughs> and seriously, there's gotta be fish over here. <gasps> I never saw him follow. <laughs> no, how big was it? <laughs> I was looking at the shoreline. There was nothing behind it. Also, he just materialized behind the bait. <laughs> uh, I guess we just have to talk crap about him. Oh, that was stupid. Was he gonna eat it? I don't know. Or yeah, just, he was just there. there. Like my bait was here. I'm like looking over there, and all of a sudden there's a fish. There. <laughs> No, nope. right here, right here. Okay, okay. Right here, dude. I'm gonna bring him up. Okay. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I got him. Oh, you got him! I got him. Oh, you got him! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh, I'm gonna I go ahead and apologize for language. hyperventilating, but that's a save, man. <laughs> Big time. Big time. Oh, he, okay. he got it rolled right in the front of me. <sighs> okay, um, go ahead and put an anchor down. We're gonna move to the shore. Yeah. Okay. That's a mondo. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. I thought that was the ultimate mess up. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I thought I messed up. <laughs> That's another 50. Yeah. That's another 50. <laughs> and she just barely had it. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I got her in the net and shit. That yeah. front hook hit. And I'm yep. Like, oh. Yep. Well, and I probably was rushing it a little bit, but... <sighs> All right, that was hectic, as musky fishing can be. It's another giant on the pelagic swim. I was probably rushing Nathan a little bit. Um, we were really trying to get this fish in. She got hooked and popped off, and Nathan made the ultimate dive on the net to save it. But this is another giant fish. Oh my God. Okay. Guys, that is a mega, mega musky. Okay. Let's see what we got. It is 53 and a half right there. She touches. 
53 and a half. Boom, right there. Oh, but personal best by an inch and a half. Oh my God. That is a 40 pound fish all day. I've never felt anything like this. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> all right. Let's get her back in, guys. Let's get her back in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, girl. Okay. Get her tail. Get her tail. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Is that recording, Nathan? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I want to get her, get her so her head's, head's going forward. There we go. There we go. There we go, big girl. Don't go on the tense up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I've got to stop on her a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I feel like she wants to wants to go maybe. Whew. All right. Go lady. Oh, look at that. What an animal. What an animal. There you go, lady. There you go. There you go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> there she goes. <sighs> wow. I just want to make sure she's... Yeah, she, she swam down to the bottom. Oh, my God, dude. Wow. I'm shaking for you. I... <laughs> 53. Oh my God. Okay. Well, um, we were kind of thinking we were done. We hadn't seen anything for a while. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's stop cameras and get going. I, I can't talk. This is so cool. So cool. Folks, uh, we've had a second to sit down and process what just happened, and what just happened was chaotic and ridiculous, and what angling anarchy means to the core, probably, like just all hell breaks loose. Um, we have a plan, it all goes to hell, you know. Um, yeah, and you know, I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten comments about, oh, you're netting the fish too fast, blah, blah, blah. These fish are already kind of stressed out. I don't want to sit here and fight them, fight them, fight them, fight them, and wear them out. I just want to get them netted fast. So I was, I, I could tell she was hanging out by the boat. I said, Nathan, let's get this thing in. He went for it. Her head went down, and the hook got stuck on the front edge of the neck, net, and she popped out. And she was there for a second. And Nathan, being the seasoned net man that he is, made the uh, executive decision to just go as deep as he could and lift up. And we got our fish. We got the fish. That's the fish that we're looking for. Yep. <sighs> Can't believe it. And of course, my, my side cameras were dead. My chesty was working. This was working. We, we got enough. I, I'm a little sad about the, uh, like the slow-mo opportunities that we may have missed, but that eat was amazing. We'll have to go back and see what, what it looks like, but that fish just came out of nowhere, out of the darkness of this water and ate that bait next to the boat. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. So, um, but I guess if that's going to happen, we should probably keep doing this because who knows? Um, yeah, there could be another one in our future. 
but uh, if that's how today ends, I'm pretty sure we can be okay with that. Yeah, Nate's nodding. <laughs> so, all right, folks, we're gonna get back to it. Uh, this is a really special and neat day, so let's make it more specialer and neater. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It was really cool. Again, a chaotic net job, and it just, you never know how, how that stuff's gonna go down. Could it have gone better? Absolutely. Uh, was the result the same as if it had gone perfectly? Thankfully, yes. So, uh, yeah, I, I would rather have uh, my buddy Nathan on the net because to be able to think quick enough when he saw that fish pop out and scoop to get that fish, I'll take that quality in a net man any day. So uh, I really appreciate uh, him being there and he's netted some of my biggest fish. So uh, for those of you that are like, oh, you need a better net man, I got one, I'm good. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We've got another day, the third part, uh, I shouldn't say another day, we've got the third part of this day of fishing coming up. Nathan gets his personal Wisconsin vest, uh, musky uh, with a 48 incher. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that one out. And with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video.